Welcome to a Progress in San Diego, Ordinary People Doing Extraordinary Things. I'm your host, Walter Davis, and we have a very interesting interview on this evening uh, with a very, very helpful young woman by the name of Juanita Asen. Thank you so much for coming, Juanita. Thank you, Walter. It's nice to be here. Nice well, to see you again. It, it's always good to see you. And, and, and Juanita is a holistic practitioner, and, and her specialty, among others, and what we're going to talk about tonight is acupuncture. And so there's a lot of mysticism, right, surrounding acupuncture and what it is. Is that not so? It, it, that's true, um, but it's much better than it was when I first started practicing. So I um, got my license in 88, and there was a lot of mysticism then. And I, um, <clears throat> there were um, times when I just, I had a book called um, The Wuling Dancers. And sometimes people would come to me and they'll say, I, I, I don't know why I'm, I'm here. Um, but I have this condition, and I'm not, I don't even understand it, how acupuncture can help me, how it works. And um, so I would send them home with a book on quantum physics. And they'd read that, and they'd come back, okay, I understand. <laughs> it's all about energy. Mm -hmm. And the more we understand energy, and now, now I think, it's, it's catching on. People are grasping the concept of that energy is everywhere. And it's not, and we, we may not see it, but we know it's there and, and people are, are understanding that. So once you grasp the concept of energy, mm -hmm. or even start thinking, when people say, oh, the energy in this room just doesn't make me feel good. Mm -hmm. Once you say that, <laughs> once you have that statement out there, you're getting to understand energy. And that's what acupuncture is about. It's about the energy of the body. So uh, th th this is sort of an aside, but is this at all related to dark energy and dark matter? Are you familiar with those concepts at all? No. I, hate, I hate to put you on the spot with that, but you said energy <laughs> is everywhere, and so dark matter and dark energy are things that scientists have discovered to be everywhere. Uh, but at, at any rate, tell me about, you said when you started out, so when did you start out in acupuncture? I've been practicing for 24 years. Wow. How did you get started in acupuncture? I was actually getting um, <clears throat> my master's degree in visual arts. Uh, and my son, who was born perfectly healthy, very robust and full of energy, good energy. And, um, <clears throat> but in about six months, it started to change. By eight months, we noticed a big change in him. And uh, Western medicine wasn't taking that much notice. I kept saying he was, he was born so healthy, look, he's lost weight. He's losing hair. And they said, well, he's not at a critical situation right now. And I go, I don't want to wait until he's in a critical place. And so I started doing research myself on what possibly could be wrong. And I found out in my research that um, at particular times of a baby's growth, they produce enzymes, and therefore, they will <clears throat> be able to. <clears throat> excuse me. They'll be able to digest certain foods at certain times. So you don't you don't give a, a baby certain kinds of foods that they don't have the enzymes yet being produced, and that's that's at particular times of their growth. So his enzymes didn't kick in. And I went back to the pediatrician and I said, could we do an enzyme test? Which is just a saliva test. And he said, oh no, 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 no. Uh, and I said, well, why not? And he said, well, if we, on a mother's whim, um, just did what they wanted us to do, the insurances aren't going to pay and we can't, we don't have time for that. So I started to look for other w means of, um, his care, and then I went to natural medicine. And I went to a naturopathic physician, and she said, oh, 
well, his enzymes didn't kick in, meaning then that he was being malnourished. So, and that was the problem. And so she treated him with some homeopathy and some herbs. And she said, I want you to go over to the acupuncture school and, um, and have him treated there and get the herbs, that other herbs that he needs. So I did that. And um, in just a few months, three to four months, I would say he was 90 some percent better. He had a little milk allergy for a while after that. Wow. And so I was at the acupuncture school and the founder of the school said, you'd be good at this. And I thought, well, I feel so far away from what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So there I was. Well, I'm glad that you did. Uh, go there because you've certainly benefited me in a very positive way. Uh, did you want to take a drink of water? You seem like you were clearing your throat. Yes, go, go right thank ahead you. And, and I can tell the audience about how okay. wonderful you are. Thank you. Um, when I was suffering from prostate cancer, uh, Juanita was integral in me learning about how to cleanse my body. I didn't even realize I needed to be on an active cleansing campaign. And I had no sense of energy, energy being everywhere, and in how the energy needed to be equalized in my body. And so having no, I was totally ignorant of these concepts. Um, and I was actually referred to uh, Juanita by a young professor who said that she had been bedridden, unable to walk, sores on her uh, legs, et cetera, hair coming out. And then when she went to visit Juanita, uh, Juanita was able to show her ways to recover. And, and Western medicine, wasn't able to help this particular young woman. And so I just want to thank you for what you've done for me personally. I can vouch for that. I know that you have a license and you can't say you cure all kinds of things, but I can say it. I can say that uh, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for this young woman. So with that, tell me more about this energy equilibrium that you were talking about. Um, and, and people may have questions. <clears throat> Does it, is it painful? when you put the is needle, is that the correct term? For yes, what do you call the needles. It? Put the needle in, into people. Is that painful? Talk more about the energy stuff as well, please. Okay. Um, uh, let's address the pain part of it. I, I know a lot of people are afraid of the needles, and um, that's the reason why they don't go to an acupuncturist. I, and when they state this to me, I said, come on. You know, and we won't do needles. We'll do the acupressure points, and the educational part of it is is a great part of it. Also, like you said in the beginning, is that I do holistic medicine, and that means I um, work on all levels of of existence, and that's the mind, the body. Um, and also the spirit of, of, of people. And I say spirit in, in a loose way, um, meaning um, just pretty much their own belief systems. And so if they're thinking negatively, we want to have them thinking positively. So um, because that has an effect also on, on the healing, healing process. So I ask people to just come in and have the consultation. Let's talk about what's going on with your health. And um, we can do some pressure points and do a little reflexology. And, I'll, and the, re, the pressure points I'll use is the points I'll use with the acupuncture. Mm -hmm. So as they come in and I do that, it doesn't take very long. And they'll say, well, let me try just one needle. And they're very surprised very surprised how little they feel when I insert the needle. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want a little of a sensation, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and move the needle a little bit to get a little sensation, but it's not painful. And I don't want to say that it doesn't happen every once in a while that you feel something. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it could be because the energy is just really stuck in that area. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely not at all like getting an injection. Mm -hmm. We just need to just wipe that out of your mind. Those needles are very thick mm -hmm. and they have holes in the ends of them. Mm -hmm. 
because they're either putting something in or taking something out. Right. <laughs> and so, yes, that's painful. Um, but people do it, you know, because they feel like they need to do it. Mm -hmm. And these needles are about the thickness of three hairs. Mm -hmm. They're very, very thin. Right. And, and if you get, you know, it, if you do it correctly, in the acupuncturist learns how to just do it so nicely where it just pass the um, the sensation part of the right at the top of the skin right in and, and it actually feels when you get the needles in you're laying on the table it feels actually very very good and I can vouch for that um, I know that I have gone and had intense lower back pain and after a session with you it was gone. I can I can certainly say that. So, you you mentioned you treat the the spirit. There's sort of a psych. Is there a psychological component with this as well? Because uh, I know that you you talk to people and you tend to have a way of bringing people at ease. So th this is a multifaceted methodology, is it not? Every acupuncturist treats. Um, sees their patient differently, mm -hmm. um, and um, but you'll you'll see that they would spend a lot more time um, with their patients um, simply because it's important to um, understand in order for us to select the needles where we're going to put the points, and so uh, we want to get an idea of what's been going on, how well you're feeling from the last treatment. So this always a little discussion going on there. I do a little bit more. My feeling is that uh, let's just talk about the things that are on your mind right now, the things that are worrying you, um, some concerns that you have, and get them out on the table and get an understanding about them so that when you get on the table, all that is said and come to certain kinds of feelings where you're at ease with whatever is happening. And then when you're on the table, it's all about the body healing. Exactly, exactly. Now, acupuncture has been around for how long? Thousands of years? In, several in, thousands of years. Several thousand. And, and where did it originate? Can you talk on that? or? It actually originated, the story that I I've gotten on it anyways, is that um, during times of war, and I, I will say in Asia, okay, um, but there are some, I've, I've heard that there is history in other parts of the world in which it was, hap um, it was happening they were using needles for um, not needles because there weren't any needles, but it was they would actually have stone and they would grind them down and they would actually be using those instead. Um, but how I got the story was people would get speared or injured um, during wartime. Uh, and what they had found is the places where they got injured uh, actually helped other parts of their body. So they have an injury here, but maybe something over here became better. And so this, this was questioned for probably quite a long time and documentation on this, and then studied and realized that yes, if you do something in one area, it will have an effect on another part. So that's where it all started. And, um, and of course, it, it took a long time for, for it to be perfected. But once it was perfected, it still was around for another, another thousand years. And so we have an empirical medicine here that um, over time just has proven, yes, it works. Wow, that is really fascinating that, you know, that this whole thing happens and, and it just seems to defy the thought pattern if we look at Western medicine. Maybe you can elaborate further on that. 
can you can you talk about some of the differences between holistic treatment and Western medicine as far as what your viewpoint is? Well, when acupuncture originated several thousand years ago, the philosophy of these cultures that was using these methods had an understanding of nature and energy. Western medicine is totally vo was totally void of the concept and of that energy existed. So the medicine that was created in Western in Western medicine was that um, that there was no energy. And so when Western medicine does not work, you can pretty much bet over 90% of the time it's an energetic problem. And so if you're addressing the energy of the body, it has the ability to heal itself. And um, that's, that's primarily the difference. And now, though, it's changing, and there are some changes. So in the future, I, I think we, we're going to see where Western medicine and acupuncturists are going to be working together. Matter of fact, the hospitals now and major medical facilities are hiring acupuncturists because they're becoming more and more aware. And even though now that they have an understanding of energy and energy of the body, it's still not a part of Western medical practices. That's really sad. What 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 what's the reasoning for that? How how can you attribute that fact? What's the reason? It's mm -hmm. it's just um, that they're not making any changes with it. Uh, you know, I don't want to say that when you said it's very sad. I don't. You know, there, Western medicine does have its place. Mm -hmm. And, and so I just as soon just go ahead and let Western medicine do what they're doing. Um, well, I don't want to say that 100%. There are some things that I don't in, agree with. In other words, with, you, you don't want to discredit Western medicine. You, no. You want, you want to say that um, it, it, it has its place. I guess that's the It answer. has its place. The mm -hmm. whole thing, though, is the respect and the awareness of what acupuncturists do. Mm -hmm. And if we can get the two to work together so you know when to have the acupuncturist being treated. You know, there are times when I'll say, I, I would like you to, you know, to go and see your Western medical practitioner or go to the hospital, you broke a bone. You know, and so I would like to see a Western medical practitioner say, go see an acupuncturist, mm -hmm. you know, to know when to refer to the acupuncturist. They know when to refer to the gynecologist, to the um, other, other um, phys, um, practitioners. Mm -hmm. So why not acupuncturists? And I, I refer to a lot of different practitioners. I love to see people having a team of practitioners mm -hmm. on their side to have researched the medical practitioners that they like in, in Western medicine, nat, um, naturopathic medicine, um, osteopathy, uh, osteopathy um, or chiropractic, and the, the acupuncturist. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think when you search out your team, you should have a rapport with each one of your practitioners that, you know, when we do mind, body, spirit, have a rapport with your practitioner. Um, feel comfortable with them. Now, I, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you want to talk in terms of cures, but can you tell me some of the things that an acupuncturist may treat or that you have experienced? treating or assuaging pain, whatever, it, 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 you, you, acupuncture will benefit. Tell me some conditions that may benefit. I can't think of one that it doesn't. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, can you give me some specific instances or some things that you have experienced then? In, in, in other words, 
something happens. What is that something happening? And then someone gets an idea, well, maybe I'll go see an acupuncturist first. Give me some examples. If there are, um, I, th I think what you're trying, I think what you're trying to ask here, Walter, is um, when a, why would a person come to see me when they have certain, when they're suffering from certain kinds of conditions? Mm -hmm. and, um, and is it possible that I'm going to treat 100% of the time it's going to be better or, or improved? And which conditions are they? And what I, you, I have, I, I won't say to anybody that this is going to, if you come to see me and have acupuncture, that they're, they're, you're no longer going to be suffering with this condition. Mm -hmm. And um, that there's going to be a cure. You know, it's, I have seen, times when people have come to me and they tell me their health situation and I'm and I'm going oh my gosh this person came through my door and asking me to help them and I'm and and I kind of wonder am I going to be able to do all of this mm -hmm. am I going to be able to help this person mm -hmm. um are they going to be able to, are we going to be able to remove this condition in which they're suffering from? Right. And, um, and there are times when I've been amazed. I've been surprised, really, I'll surprise myself okay. <laughs> at times. So I won't say to somebody that I will not or I cannot or that acupuncture won't do this. Tell me about the times you've been surprised. Can you give me some specific examples of the times you've been surprised? Um, okay. Just in general. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't want to like say things that you know where I'm breaching some privacy privacy, privacy here. Mm -hmm. um, there, when. Uh, there was a time when a woman came to me and and she had um, suffered with gynecological problems in which um, and she wanted to be pregnant and she and she had spent over five years not being able to conceive so um, and due to her history, I really was in skeptical. And, but I said, let's let's try it. Let's let's just try try and see what we can do. So I gave her some herbs to support our our treatments, and yes, um, she became pregnant, and um, and I was surprised. I was very okay. surprised, and she was ecstatically happy. <laughs> so, when issues dealing with uh, with pregnancy, any others? You can just give me pregnancy, headache, or what else? Give me some. Give, just give me some. Um, um, headaches. That's pain is is common. Okay, mm -hmm. it, it's fantastic for for pain. Mm -hmm. If you have pain, definitely see an acupuncturist. Most of the time, it's an energetic and a um, problem, and um, the body is not balanced. Mm -hmm. And then also too with the talk um, and um, consultation, we. Can sometimes find out other things that a person's doing that is not allowing for the body to um, to heal. Mm -hmm. And but pain is usually blocked energy or blocked blood and energy in the system, and so you just break the blockages up and get the system, the energy moving and the blood flowing well. And it usually it, um, most of the time. Okay, so pain. So and, pain mm -hmm. is a, is a is a good example of, it. and so that's that's com that's common. But also, um, I have with um, reducing fibroids, and um, working with people who um, who has had polycystic um, conditions, and not that it. Um, not that it actually 
cures, but that the patient feels so much better mm -hmm. and can halt the process of continually growing. And, um, and I think that's, that needs to be, I think we should state that also too, is that there are some conditions in which, okay, um, there's not going to be a cure. Mm -hmm. And like I, I said, is that I don't actually treat conditions, I treat the body. Got it. Yes, and so I don't treat diseases, I treat the body so the body can handle and, and take care of the conditions of the body that, um, that the person is suffering from. So, and what, what happens um, is that even if it's, it's terminal, the patient will have quality mm -hmm. of life. And that can be so important. And yes, that has at times amazed me too, mm -hmm. um, where people could not walk, or if they're having chemotherapy, that they're so sick that all they're doing is laying in bed and the quality of life has gone down and acupuncture can bring that quality of life back. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, you know, we're actually, this, we went through this so fast, we're, we're down to that last two minutes. See how quick it went by? Yes. So uh, we're going to have to have you back again to talk about some of the other facets of your, your practice. I want to thank you so much for, for joining us this evening. Thank you, and Walter. I want to thank the audience for joining us as well. Please tell your friends about this. Post it on Facebook. Let, let everybody know that we come on uh, at 5 p.m. every Sunday here on Cards Communications. Uh, I am your host. Walter Davis, and I want to thank you so much for joining me for Progress in San Diego.